It was sent to us, it was sent to, the, to Matt Quinn, the uh, Director of Public Relations in our uh, Faculty of Health Science, uh, by an individual in Toronto whose daughter was interested in coming here to Weston next year as a first year student. So he ran across Ma Matt's name and then he, in looking at the websites, he saw the International Center for Olympic Studies and he found in his family collection a po this postcard. And it was the property of his grand uncle who was in the picture, but he didn't know who he was in the picture. So he asked us if we could identify him. Well, our answer to that was, send us some pictures of your grand uncle and we'll do our best. He sent us one picture. We identified him almost immediately, both in the picture we had of the athletics team, track and field, and his picture. He was ecstatic about that and uh, we had never seen the picture he sent, which was the bigger contingent. And then we started trying to identify others in the picture through literature, through the results of the games, and so on. And uh, so that's how we came into possession of it. And one thing has led to another, and it's, it's been like a serial of number of episodes of trying to identify people in there. So that's, that's one of the reasons it's unique. It's the first, but even then, in our study of the photo, and our subsequent research, we know that it was still not the entire Canadian Olympic team. I don't think a picture exists of the entire Canadian Olympic team. This picture, for instance, doesn't show any rowers. It doesn't show any shooters. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't show any tennis players. Uh, but it does show other athletes. So it's the best, it's the best picture that we can gain of the, the biggest amount of Canadian athletes that participated in 1908, the first Olympic team.